Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a look at running Steam through Fax on my Racha Rock 5B with the Joshua Rig version of Ubuntu 24.04. So here you can see that this is the Ubuntu 24.04 with the Rockchip 6.1 kernel. And just a warning up front, uh, I wasn't able to get things uh, yeah, fully hardware accelerated, so there's still a lot of things that I need to investigate and one of those things is Thunclips, so you can forward things like GL to the host. So, but this video is primarily aimed at simply getting FAX running and that it's possible to start Steam. And I have the feeling that I still need to do a lot more homework to get things faster with all kinds of optimizations. So this is the FAX website and they also have a GitHub. And when you're on Ubuntu, then it's actually quite easy to install it. So you just take this whole command and then just execute it and it will walk you through the installation and it will also uh, download a root file system. So I've taken some screenshots while I was installing it. So yes, you want to uh, download a root file system and in this case uh, they have Ubuntu 24.04 so that's an exact match and of course you want to download it and they use squashfs and Yeah, you want to set it as your default. And what did I miss that? Yeah, so I chose to extract it. I'm not really sure if it has a very big impact uh, because this is a compressed file system. So just to be sure that I get the best performance or I assume I get the best performance uh, by extracting it. And extracting it might also have the benefit that it's hopefully also a little bit easier to make some changes uh, because I think I read somewhere that they aim to have a immutable root file system. So once you get to the end, then uh, they give you the users example starting Steam. But you still need to install Steam itself. Now luckily they do have a wiki so you can just uh, download the dev file. Um, so what I did notice is that it wasn't downloading it. So I was a little bit confused, but it turned out that, uh, well, in my case, uh, Chromium uh, was a bit paranoia and you can choose to keep it. 
well, I already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again. But if you don't uh, see that depth file, then check the downloads in Chromium. So once you have that file, then you have to execute this command. So uh, I think, yeah, I still have it there. So actually it's uh, steam latest.dep instead of steam.dep. And once you have executed this command, then you can start steam with this command. So let's try that. And well, the advantage with fax is that it has a good 32 bit and 64 bit x86 emulation. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why you get those error messages. And I also have to start a Steam client uh, in two steps. And I also think that if I don't manage to get that thumb clips working, then we probably have to wait until, well, I'm guessing, 20, Ubuntu 26.04 until we have uh, mainline support for the GPU of the RK3588. So like I said, I have to start the Steam client in two steps. So um, yeah, starting it with GPU acceleration disabled it might not be the best option for performance. Uh, and it seems that you have to get to this step before it starts responding. So I also tried it with just sandboxing disabled, but I didn't see much difference uh, with, oh, now oh, it's starting anyway. Oh, perhaps it's just a matter of uh, waiting. <laughs> I don't know, although, uh, takes a while and here it is so let's go to my library so like I said uh, fax comes with 32-bit and 64-bit x86 emulation so we can try half-life now a warning up front um, yeah, it's um, in my tests up till now, it's it's very, very slow uh, that it's not even playable. But just to prove that it does work in itself and that we need to uh, try to get things more optimized. But again, it does start the game. So yeah, I wanted to make this video anyway, just to show people how to get started. Uh, also because I don't know how long it will take for me to figure out if we can get things optimized for better performance. And I'm also actually a little bit Curious, yeah, that one still stays in the background. Anyway, let's see how things are going.
So I activated the frame counter in the left top corner. So eight frames, seven frames per second. So let's try to start the game. So again, the performance is really bad, but that's also because I haven't tried optimizing the performance yet. Now, well, I guess you can see that this is not really playable. <laughs> but um, yeah, first you have to make things start before you can work on optimization so just to prove that 64 bit is also working uh, yeah the performance is uh, not really good but we'll uh, we'll start the game just to show you that 64 bit is also working And at least uh, this time, uh, Fex, it looks like it's easier to install on Ubuntu than it is on Fedora. And Fex with Fedora is probably uh, primarily tested on Macs with an ARM chip. So here we have like, two frames per second <laughs> not really uh, playable but uh, but primarily to uh, prove that it starts games Well, it's uh, a bit annoying to select where you need to go, but I assume you have seen that in itself it works, but uh, yeah, we need to work on optimization. So I guess that is enough for now with Steam. And I also noticed that 
I have a problem with app images. So let's see, stint car remake app image. So if we want to start it like this, then we get that app images require views to run. But I already installed libfuse too. As you can see here, but I guess this error comes from the root file system of fax. So yeah, perhaps that's also one of the things that I need to look into if we can make any changes to that root file system. And I already had a peek at it and it didn't look very inviting. So, and that's also one of the reasons why I want to release this video anyway, because I don't know yeah, how much effort it's going to be to get things really working the way I want. But the good part is, is that you can run the app image with this option. Uh, no. Yep. So like this. Now I already downloaded it or executed it, sorry. And then you get a directory with squashfs root. And then you can start the game or application. I guess you get the idea. So yeah, I got fax working on Ubuntu 24.04. Um, I still need to do a lot of homework to see if we can get it more optimized. But I think uh, my next step is going to be installing uh, Box 86 and Box 64 on my uh, yeah built Armbian image with kernel 6.14, and then yeah we also have to test if the Vulkan driver is already good enough to run any Steam games, and if not, then we'll have to see if we can fall back to OpenGL and see if we can get any decent performance that way. But yeah, uh, I still need to do a lot of homework for facts. So I don't know when the follow up to this video will be released, but I will try to keep some progress on this. So this is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.